Nikkor Asaro 35mm f2.8 was made in Japan between 1962 and 1974. Nikon marketed it as the lightest wide-angle lens for general purpose photography, and indeed this lens is light, coming in at only 200 grams. Because of its compact design, this lens quickly became a popular choice for landscape and architecture photography. When it first appeared on the market, Nikon released it with the old branding on the front, which at the time was Nippon Kogaku Japan, but in late 1971 that name was dropped and the familiar Nikon name was used on the front plate. Besides the name and a few minor tweaks, the lens stayed the same and all copies in the 12 years of production have the same optical design, 7 elements and 6 groups. The popularity of this lens was embraced by several Hollywood directors and I was able to spot it in 3 different movies. Now let's check out the clips in which this 35mm lens appears. First up is the 1974 mystery thriller The Conversation, a movie about a surveillance expert who gets hired by private clients to spy on people. In this scene, we see the expert and his assistant waiting in the spy van, while two women randomly decide to use the van's tinted windows as a makeshift mirror. The assistant gets excited when he sees the women and starts taking photos with his Nikon camera and the Nikkor S Auto 35mm f2.8 lens. At number 2 is the 1995 romantic drama Bridges of Madison County, a movie about a photographer, played by Clint Eastwood, on assignment to shoot the historic covered bridges of Madison County. In the first scene we see Francesca, played by Meryl Streep, who gets surprised by the photographer when he attempts to snap some portrait shots of her. We can clearly see the camera and lens in this scene, the trusty Nikon F and the Nikkor S Auto 35mm f2.8. There is a second scene in the movie in which we can see another excellent close-up of the lens during one of the photo shoots of the covered historic bridges. At number 3 is the 1997 spy comedy Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. In this scene, Austin and his sidekick Vanessa are spying on Dr. Evil's cronies. Suddenly, Austin is captivated by Vanessa's looks, tells her how incredibly beautiful she is, pulls out a camera and begins to take photos of her with the Nikkor S Auto 35mm f2.8 lens. Bonus feature. This next clip is not from a movie but from Duran Duran's 1981 music video Girls on Film. The video has photography featured in several spots with cameras being loaded with film and lenses being attached. At one point we see a good close-up of the Nikkor S Auto 35mm f2.8 right before the photographer takes a shot of the model on the catwalk. I'll put a link in the description below for the official video if you want to hear the song. So there you have it, three movies and one bonus feature in a music video. Pretty special for a 35mm lens. Have you seen this lens in any other movies or videos? Please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here at Vintage Optics.